Ardi Aquino, Gus Cewi Ketonjo, Bel Kesipi, Cio Terus Gau, Indica Mix Good evening, comics people. Hello, comics people. Uh, welcome back to um, Indie, Indie Comics, comics Podcast, Podcast English, English Edition. What part? part two? Part two. Okay. By the way, let's introduce ourselves again. My name is Arda Kino from Burgers and Cheese Pizza Bar with BK Pena. This is Dias Des from the creator of the Ganat Makisi. Uh, I'm Melka Sipit of Cheese Pit and more. <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here makes more than comics than any other uh, comic creator that I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ardi but, Aquino is sleeping uh, I think this on is our much, first episode. Uh, so this is the episode where he is. much better when Ardi Aquino is sleeping. Eh, <laughs> because, his English is major superior about rather than Giuseppe Custodio. Yeah, Giuseppe Custodio is millennial. You millennial, you. <laughs> Alright, now what are we going to talk about for tonight, guys? And, uh, and where we left off earlier. Uh, we're talking about our comics. Um, when when did we start creating? Uh, started creating comics. Oh yes. And by the way, I think uh, Gius Desk or uh, is uh, talking about something when we started by the year 2012, right? Yeah, we were trying to uh, around <laughs> 2012. I invited R. Aquino to join me at in the in the Changge because I only have I've been selling my comics for 20 pairs, and I was thinking. Maybe if I could sell a lot, a, lot, a little bit more uh, products, oh, comics, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. rather than my twenty pairs of comic. Maybe some pe- maybe I have a chance on being a bestseller for the comic con, and maybe have a slot for. So uh, did you win? Exhi- exhibitor table? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, we did not. But who that experience won? was very wonderful. So it's who won the, that uh, time? Hmm? Who won? I think it's an uh, anime group. Uh, An anime group. A manga group. Manga group. Manga group. Manga groups have lots of fans. Um, even before, well, there's no doubt that they're gonna win. Yeah, it's a very uh, nice experience. Our first uh, year on making comics because it was uh, Winter Comic Con, right? 2012. We don't have winter in the Philippines. Why do they call it Winter Comic Con? Because it sounds much cooler. I think I, it's I'm cooler because it's winter. But no, <laughs> there's no I, winter in, here. In, on, on my in my mind, I call it Winter Comic Con. But instead, it's, it's the main Comic Con, the winter one. Is it? Yes. Why, it why don't is. they call it Last Quarter Comic Con? Because they call it the Summer Comic Con, and mm-hmm. the other one is just Comic Con. It's just Comic Con. Mm-hmm. I think uh, did they really uh, called it Winter Comic Con? Yes. No, that that not no, Comic-Con but per not se. officially, not officially. But some other but the creators, does. the comics creators that because it's much easier to remember, to remember that you either uh, did you went to Comic Con? Yes, uh, we went last summer Comic Con and was Winter Comic Con, or you can say. We went to the March Comic Con and the <laughs> November, November Comic Con. <laughs> because that. when you promote, sometimes you. Oh, where are you going? Are you going to Comic Con? Yes, we're going to the November Comic Con <laughs> this year for sure. Yeah. Then sometimes yeah, because when you say Comic Con, yeah, what Comic Con? There's Indicate, there's Comic Con Summer, then there's Comic Con. <laughs> so what? Which three? Or there's there's a Comic Con workshop. But you don't have to say it winter because winter is is snow. Oh, because <laughs> I think I think. One of the one of the people that points out that there's no winter in the village, I think it's Sir Jerry Alangian. There's no winter here. Why, sh- why do you keep pushing the term winter? Just Comic Con. Well, you can also you say can, you can say last quarter because it's not no. November. Oh, it's you can sometimes say sometimes it's October. Christmas Comic Con or Comic Con Halloween. Year end Comic Con. Mm, I think that's possible. But it's not the year end. Eh. The December 13th. So last quarter. Uh, last quarter. Okay, okay. Let's uh, take a note of that and drop it into suggestion box. No, you can put a pin on it. <laughs> we'll consider. Yeah. <laughs> we are doing this English uh, episode because we want to reach the uh, uh, wider reach audience. Reach out to our wide, wider audience uh, and to better our English because just like international. What, just like what uh, Sir Jerry Alonguian and Mr. John Zomer said on their own very podcast. That I think, which is also inspired by us, <laughs> because we're s- been doing podcasts lately a bit uh, habitually. Yeah, we were because like uh, Sir Jerry. Uh, I think uh, he took he took an hiatus, hiatus, 
Yeah. But he came back already. Yeah, he came back, and we were very, very happy that he came back. Yeah, we, welcome um, back. Sir there's a Jerry shout out Alan regarding uh, the slice of light comics, and uh, Giuseppe Castaldi, one of our members, was uh, mentioned mentioned in that podcast. Good job, Giuseppe. Giuseppe Castaldi, and also Mr. John Zomer, come uh it's He's making, making videos video well right video now. Good right job. Now. Thank you so much, and sir. And it's in English. I think we should just follow the flow and do the English. English. Because our the name of our podcast is English in the comics podcast. Comics, not comics. 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 Filipino spell K. Uh, with with a K. Oh, that yeah. is right. Mm-hmm. And John Zam- uh, Mr. John Zammer is like reviewing comics as well, right? Yeah, but mm-hmm. he he also watch. Uh, why, why don't we review comics too? The mm-hmm. ones that we get from the convention. Uh, definitely, definitely, we'll try and do that. So I think we talked about it uh, before. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I think I've been trying to do that in uh, in the comics reading. Yeah, that's right. I think, but it's a little bit informal. Mm. Mm. You and the kids did something like that, right? Yeah, ninety percent um, giggle. <laughs> I think it's for monocular, but I don't think the Simon Duel is watching our podcast because it's about him. <laughs> and it's never been. Uh, it's, it's not out helped, there. It's not promoted by mm-hmm. uh, the, the in the comics reviews. You recently. Went to Warrior Poet Cafe, Gio. Yes. Is that right? And yeah, you Gio. had a little bit of segment with uh, Joseph, right? The Gio X Gio show, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because we did that because we're just trying to do something on the special event. Because uh, the, mm. the that time the Warrior Poet is just very very quiet because it's just oh, the two the three of us that yeah. sounds uh, kind of lonely yeah that's, how, that's why we took the the privilege of making a video well that's good that's good uh, for that, the business yes. good for noel and, and good for the audience uh, just there's the shout out for the indie comps because there's a lot of so indie comps how was there. the event are there a lot of people uh, there's a lot of yeah the, the, a lot of people <laughs> but there's also the the products they sell is our patches stickers original art this t-shirt the comics just I don't know I don't know it doesn't move I, I, well. I didn't see any comics there mm-hmm. it's more on no comics more and on the, artisan products in the local local comic uh, event right yeah in the local local there's a, um, I don't know if there I didn't see any comic but there's a lot of prints a lot of fan art uh, I think Pancho Carambola is uh, one of the sellers yeah, right there. Yeah. I th- does he not sell comics in that time? I don't time? think I didn't see his comics. But Maybe. I saw his stickers then. There's a lot of fan art. I mean not regular pod- fan art that like that we do, that prints, but mm-hmm. uh, patches. That's very stickers, cool. Yeah. Mm, very cool. Maybe game. we should create a video about why you should buy comics, not fan art. I think we, we already we can, we can just depend the the comics because comics is harder to create than fan art. Mm-hmm. So we can what just depend on that, that. Uh, because it's very easy to create prints. Are you talking about people when going to conventions? conventions. Oh, I see. Why? Not in general because yes. people definitely have their own will what to choose and what to buy because so, I'm just uh, making default, things clear yeah, I'm because, just making but, things clear yeah, because by default people wants to buy something that they are familiar with which is the fan arts that is right but mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say is they should buy comics instead not fan arts why because fan arts are ha- are easier to produce and make than comics comics you need to do it at least a month a month or three to one month or more it's full of (coughs) effort but in terms of sales it's not getting the sales that it deserves oh my god yes so we need to defend why they see they need to buy comics not fun but that is on the customer's point of view Mm, but i think what what mel is trying to sell that Mm. we need to uh influence influence yes influence that's that's the corrector because by default i mean fine fun arts it's by default it's it's sellable it's sellable yeah because it's already established it has its own uh, community of followers already the creator of the that uh, of that character series, uh. of that series already popular and has his own name so there are lots of people really familiar and wants to buy that thing that is correct and on uh, in our part of uh, being an indie creator of comics mm. they should um, give it, it a chance uh, give it a chance it's a risk uh, to uh, to read it to check it out. To, mm-hmm. 
uh, when you create a comics, it's really hard because you need to um, put your heart and mind. Think about the story. Think about the setting. Like think your, about the paper. The think about the budget. Everything. It's really hard to create comics. So, if you will buy uh, indie comics, you are buying not just the production but the heart and soul of the creator. Definitely heart and soul. Pure, pure hard work. Pure love. Pure love. Who don't want to buy pure love? You stone-hearted people! <laughs> get all of your thumb out! Get, get, <laughs> Jake, you gotta control this guy right here. Oh, we're very sorry. Blame it on the hub, um, alcohol. We're, we're just, uh, Mel's just... He's, he's, passionate, very he's, passionate. He's the kind of guy who is uh, very... Uh, passionate um, and great. Passionate regarding creating his comic. He's, he's, he's been here for a while now. But I think that we must uh, try to still influence because the fan art is a very very uh, good way to to present yourself, especially when the 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 audience doesn't know you. But regardless to say, it's really sad that they they much support you on your fan art rather than on your original originals. Yeah, because I think once they once they some some people once they like your art then they would buy your comics sometimes sometimes but there's a, a very very little chance about that but keep on doing what you do uh what you love um if you have your own style do fan art with oh. your own style and yes. people yes. would definitely know Perfect. you yeah mm -hmm. but who are I, your favorite uh, comics creators right now not fan art creators comic creators when it comes to comic creators uh, how about you Jim? uh uh, not us, choose other persons, do not course, be biased. I, I like uh, Pugit Baboy. Uh, Pugit Baboy, no, Baboy not mainstream. Uh, Office Mate. Office Mate. I actually, Sai Vendeville, I like his work. My kids like his work. Uh, very good artist. Very talented. Yeah, very guy. good artist. And I think if I'll pick one. Uh, I don't know his name. Anbu Zaitis, uh, the one who created Anbu Billiard. No, An Anbu Zaitis. His name is Jose Paulo. Uh, he's my friend in Facebook. Eh. What does he do? He did Luna. I, that's ah, the only Luna. Luna. He's real good. That's the only uh, comics in the comics that I've been following since I've started. I still follow. How his many work. issues has? I only have been. four or five, and, and it still continues. Yes, but. He's in, he's in a two-year hiatus because he's got married and stuff. But Don't get married. Finish your comics. <laughs> but you know, I also no, like Toto Madayak's work. But especially, but I really like Luna because I like his work from the very beginning. I'm still intrigued by the by the story because it's it's so bitten. So bitten. What, What's what, bitten in what, English? Bitten in English. Hmm? Bitten. bitten. B number 10, B10. <laughs> B10. Yon, Jose Paulo de Torres. Jose. Jose Paulo de Torres. This is him in, the, in my cell phone. Oh my god. Uh, that's him. He's, he has a beautiful wife. Yes. Because his wife has been supporting him even if they're still boyfriend and girlfriend. Very good. I wish I had a partner that is supporting me. No, you still have ID. And we're supporting you. Uh, I don't want to support Mel in that kind of way. We're, we're friends, Mel. That is all. It's like a boundary? I, I think you know that. Battery? Battery? A, ba a boundary. Ah, I thought we were battery because one side is positive negative, then the other is just 69. I'm just, uh, I'm just letting Mel know that we don't support him. Like, <laughs> With love, like sexual things, <laughs> just boundaries. Like we're friends, man. We're friends. Straight up boundaries, yeah. man. Straight up bros. <laughs> How about you, man? Who's your influences? Your mm -hmm. influences or favorite comics? Favorite creators? comics. Uh, Regarding the yeah, they were favorite creators. I like Kanto Ink. Kanto Ink. I like Kanto Ink. Yeah, it's very very nice pacing. Storytelling uh, wise, it's very great. J M Valenzuela. Melvin Kalingo, Joanna Tinio, Kalingo. Let's come to it, guys. Good. 
very good comics. I only follow very few comic books and Kanto Ink is one of them. How about you, RD? Yeah, definitely what I can say regarding my favorite comic writer right now is Nick Edwards. Nick Edwards? Yeah. Who is Nick Edwards? I don't think that uh, a lot of people know him in the Philippines, but I stumbled no, upon him. No, we're talking your... about the local scene. Local scene? Yeah. I'm very sorry. Definitely, well, Phuket Bawa is one of them. No, no, not mainstream. Not mainstream, that mainstream, that mainstream, that mainstream, that mainstream. You're not listening to your, ano, your own podcast, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. My mind is out there. It's it's in outer space. Maybe it's with someone else. What's your favorite uh, comic fan? <laughs> <laughs> not mainstream. Not maybe. Oh, not mainstream. Yeah. I always follow Patay Kung Patay. Yes, Patay Kung Patay. Very good. And I, I do have the complete call center agent. Who is I'm writing call center agent. Uh, we also have this call center agent. Mm-hmm. Very good guy. And also, definitely uh, Mitch's work. I follow her. Um, Mitch Hernandez with Great H. Really H. good art style that I really like. Letter H. H H I J K L M N O P. That is right <laughs> now. That is right. <laughs> It's my life, it's now or never. <laughs> Those are the comics that I like as of our local scene. Why are you sad? Why are you sad, Arty? Huh? Why are you sad? Are you, you having problems with your life? Not really. I think we do have our problems in life, but they're all our own. Why are your accent like rrr, 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 like Because that? I think because that's how we talk at the office. In the office? Yes. No, he's, I don't. He talks uh, like uh, an uh, American citizen. No, um, I don't. Say what now? Like what now? <laughs> say what? Because when I talk like English, where I speak like Tagalog, Filipino, Filipino still. Sometimes when I do uh, talk in the office, during my calls, <laughs> my what? boss just keep telling me that something like, I do talk to the person that I'm talking to while on the phone in in a uh, Filipino vernacular, but it's in English. <laughs> but it's not Tagalog. Example. What? I can't remember. Please turn off your phone. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just realized that it's our office Christmas party today. Uh, why are You're you not, not invited? There? But I'm still an employee because it's still December. Right? Yes, you why are you not invited? Are you, because are you not invited? Because their party is lame because they're just partying at the office. But are you invited or not? <laughs> that is the question. In Tagalog accent. And <laughs> you, you're just making me sad. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not invited. You should invite your Or was Elo? Is Elo invited? Is Elo there? Yes, I think. Elo's <laughs> <laughs> even there. Elo's a good friend of ours. He's a comic fan. Elo's a great guy. He do his like a car business, car rental business. He's real good. He's sometimes he's a sponsor. But when that's we go to that, that's. That's a lame party. We used to go to the to yeah. go to go to party at uh, like what from last last year hotels. Then we go to the to the disco party. embassy. That's where I, Republic from the. Do you do you party? Yeah, I party like hard. Like tugs tugs party. You, you know how I how do you party? How I party? <laughs> I party. Oh, how hard hard I work. That's how party hard like I party. Hard worker. Hard partier. Okay, um, you know, Jesus does like. I know party, party like, uh, in the elementary school. I'm mm. part of the Democratic Party. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> Jesus. I think I think I feel like I want to spoke something to see that our party, even though we're just three of us, it's better. much awesome than their name as. Corporate party. <laughs> Don't say that they're lame ass. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we do know that Gio, when Gio's does party, he party hard. 
He's like a tiger. Tiger. <laughs> tiger. <laughs> Part of like a tiger. Tiger. Do you want to wake the tiger? <laughs> Bogart the Explorer. From Cebu. From Cebu City. The bow. I, the bow, I am not watching. Sorry. <laughs> Bogart the Explorer from the bow City. <laughs> so that's it. That's it. That that is it. Are you? Do you have anything else to say? I put that is I post in Instagram. Party boys, cheaper, happier. <laughs> Cheap or we just There's, want affordable. I'm gonna movies. I'm gonna call this uh, uh cheap boy party special. Cheap boy party special. Hashtag cheap boy party special. <laughs> Wait, this is not cheap. This is this is gourmet adobo. Yeah. <laughs> I will hashtag the gourmet adobo. Gourmet. <laughs> gourmet gourmet you know? gourmet adobo. Gourmet this guy. He was like. <laughs> Gourmet. I think this. I think we're okay na. We're supposed to talk about uh, comics, we and then we about. ended up talking about parties. Yeah. yeah. Is, do you party? I think. Do you? Do you? I've been thinking about making a Christmas party for IKP. No, we don't IK have time. IKP party. Ah, International no. Christmas Pad Cup party. Indie comics. Hey, party. But yes, thank you so much for. In. This English edition because I think this is my first time to yeah, be Welcome! Part. Welcome to our English edition! Yeah! Where was I in the past? You're sleeping! You're sleeping! Oh, I was very tired. I think uh, from all of the uh, the podcasts that you're in, or the Agina was in, 50% of that, no, 80% of those uh, those podcasts that you're in, Are you you're sleeping. sleeping! I think that podcasts are when it's on the field. Yes. But when it's inside my house, I'm not asleep here. Yes. We I we think do so. uh, we do uh, make a few episodes here, me and Mal. But uh, yeah, it's uh, very tiring. I do have a great shift work. Oh, I'm very let's sorry. shout out for uh, Jonas Lechugas because he is our first commenter for my picture in the Indie Comics Party Boys. <laughs> Party Boys cheaper, happier. <laughs> well, what did he say? He said Indie Comics Newman. <laughs> shout out to. To Jonas, the our silent. Oh, maybe we should uh, uh, maybe invite him sometime. He yeah. is very shy. I have already invited him for a lot of times. Time, time yeah. We could uh, cover him with the Christmas tree. Uh, definitely, uh, please, Jonas. Uh, please do. And uh, we're begging you. You're a really good guy. I, I think he he's the one who loves Jojo. Yes, it's so Jojo. Much. That's why his name is Joe Jonas. That's right. Joe. So please do uh, join us in, so, in some of our episodes. Yeah. Jonas, we, we do really. Join us. <laughs> Jonas, please join us. Oh, there you go. Good job, Mel. I like that. I like that. It's from Gio. I just pronounce it uh, a little bit better. See Jonas, that. go na. Tala, join us. <laughs> it's like the Kill Pill episode about the. Hypotenuse. <laughs> Hypotenius. Hypotenuse. Hippopotamus. He he got he did deliver the joke um, properly. <laughs> and you are. Hey, uh, by the way, Mel. Last night, I did tell my boss regarding your uh, cheesy bit line yeah. about the issues. Yes. Yeah. And then and then, and then uh-huh. what what happened? <laughs> She hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was slapped on my on my arm and don't ever do that again, Artie. You're gonna get fired. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna get fired. Uh, she was laughing so hard. Uh, <laughs> issue. I want issue for Christmas. All I want for Christmas is issue. issue. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for listening to our indie, indie comics podcast. English edition. Thank you so much. By the way, my name is R.D. Aquino from Burgers and Chismit. Yes, that's from Lakalat Mekisig. Melka Sipit. Oh, Melka Sipit. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's drunk. This is narcissistic drunk Gisipit. person. Yeah, thank you so much and good night comics good night, people. Good night comics people.